Praise God. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Amen. Good morning. I thought I'd run this by you one more time. I figured I'd keep doing it until your eyes get opened to see the truth of what Jesus has been telling us and which I don't know about you guys but some things just make sense when you think about the conditions surrounding certain periods of time okay not that Jesus isn't with us always he, he said he would be Christ in us the word of God amen uh, he's Spirit has been present with us always and uh, forever will be. But that's not the issue. <laughs> the issue is this. You need to read John 10, 16. And then ask yourself the question, which you probably can't see very well because it's really bright over here in that corner. And that's where I got Oh, I'll tell you what it says. In that corner, it says, why specify? Okay, why make a point of telling us, I have another fold, not of this pin. Those of you that uh, like looking up words and getting the translation correct, okay, uh, I have another fold not of this pen. Well, if you had a little farm boy in you or something, girl, you'd know what a pen was. It's the place you gather the sheep. <laughs> it's a gathering. I have another fold not of this gathering. I want you to think about this in reference to the two single most important periods of time for his sheep. I want you to think about this real hard now. <laughs> See if you can't figure out two periods of time of which more than any other period of time would be more significant to Jesus and would be a reason for him to specify another gathering. Well, let me think here. Well, obviously the first gathering <laughs> that established the faith, okay, must be pretty important. I think so. Okay. Well, what other one do you think might be just as important as what took place when the church was established. Might it be the last generation at the time of the end or finished work of salvation? Because that's the only thing related to Jesus the Christ of God that could possibly have a beginning or an end and that is the work of salvation through grace by faith for the past 2,000 years. It's the only thing that had a beginning and an end. Now you'll notice in here I had the word eternal. Jesus Christ is the eternal word of God. Now I want you to look that word up because some of you just, I don't know, you speed read, jump right over some of the most important aspects of what Jesus is showing us and hurry up and jump to some conclusion regarding the Alpha, which is a, I want another word I want you to look up here. Look up Alpha. It means beginning. And then look up Omega. It means end. Jesus Christ was made the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. 
Now, the order of Melchizedek is eternal. Jesus entered into the temple, not made of hand, but eternal in the kingdom of heaven. He is a priest forever. There is no beginning nor end in the word eternal. You cannot have Jesus or you, you can, you can do it, but you'd have to do it contrary to what the nose on your own face. You would have to bite your nose to spite your face to not see that Jesus was not referring to himself. When he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, he was referring to the beginning of the faith, the establisher of the faith, the author of the faith, and the finisher. He who opened the door is also he who closes the door. These are the references of which he is making reference to. Which is why he specified another fold. Surely, you know there have been more over the past 2,000 years. More folds and gatherings of sheep than just two. But he's being pacific about something, brothers and sisters. I pray today is the day that God opens your eyes to see the truth of the second assembly, the second gathering, the second pin of sheep who will hear his voice, the voice of many waters. Amen. <laughs> Might it be today? I don't know. <laughs> I just pray to God that it happens soon. And like I said in a video, some couple videos ago, if anything, get ready to take place. The eyes being opened to see the truth of the work and the will of the Father in the end has got to be, those eyes have got to be opened. There's no way that the blind lead the blind and both fall into the pit. Our eyes have been opened. That's the difference between the children of the light and the children of darkness. Spiritually speaking, amen, wasn't necessary for all the other generations until this generation to see the truth in the revelation of the body of Christ. Okay? The earthly representative temple of the eternal one that's in heaven. So, praise God. Uh, I, <laughs> okay. The work of salvation had a beginning and the end, folks. He opened the door. He's going to close the door. <clears throat> the anointed word of God, Jesus, was with them then. He will be with us now. <clears throat> he did not come to them at the end of that three and a half years. He came to them at the beginning of that three and a half years. He was with them throughout that period of time that he obviously was on earth in his natural ministry. He comes back as the resurrected Lord that we might see him as he is. He is the word of God. You just don't understand a spiritual God, a God of spirit. God is spirit and love. You just, we, we stumble over our natural, finite ability 
to be able to understand that what he says about his ways not being our ways and uh, his ways being much higher than our ways, he's referring to the inadequacy of our mind to comprehend eternal. Okay? We can't comprehend invisible God. We can't comprehend these things. His existence that I am that I am. In other words, you either believe I am or you do not. There is no in-between. Them that do, believe on my son. Listen to him. Them that don't, oh well. So, guys, uh, please take the time to at least have the decency to tell me or come against me in the Word of God for your own soul's sake, okay? Because if you're listening to this video and you cannot argue against the truth of what is being shared with you, then you by all means are going to be held responsible for not acting upon that truth. Don't think you won't be held responsible because the second you hear this video, amen Jesus, you become responsible to either call me a heretic, come against me scripturally, prove what I'm saying is not true, or accept yourselves as liars who have not received this truth, denying the Christ of God, You can't be both. You're either one or the other. You either believe or you do not believe. You either understand or you do not understand. Don't sit there thinking that saying nothing, amen, Jesus, is going to get you out of it. And my sister Jolene is not a part of the conversation I just had with the rest of you. God is my witness through His Holy Spirit. If the Father does not come after you folks, then there's something wrong. Because you need to be got after. This is the most important thing you will ever, 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 ever come to understand in your whole life, in a hundred thousand lives. You will never have another thing more important for you to understand, to accept, to believe by faith, and to walk in than what is being shared to you right here, right now. Because I can assure you, the few absolute few who are able to receive this and accept it for the truth that it is and know that the work and the will of the Father is to gather us together before the end not just to go poof why would folks please try to use some common sense there's no reason to gather us together if poof we're gone there's no reason to give examples regarding the first fold and the second fold, that they'll be the same spirit. There's no reason for all of that. If all that happens is poof, we're gone. There are far too many scriptures and others out here attempting to help you to see the man-child company and the workmen of the eleventh hour because he comes to find faith. The Son of Man, the Spirit of Prophecy. Jesus, the anointed Word of God. To them who have the ears spiritually to hear and the eyes to see, which I've, 
It's the only possible reason why you're not seeing this is that your eyes have not been opened. And that has to be the latter rain. That has to be the double portion. Because it's the only two things mentioned in the Word of God. The ears to hear and the eyes to see. Please try to get into this two thing. <laughs> the beginning, the end, the alpha, the meta, the early rain, the latter rain, the ears and the eyes. These are not concepts so far beyond your ability to be able to spiritually reason with. It should be just plain, simple, not hard, okay? You know, I, I'll tell you why I think my sister Jolene has always, is because she has a childlike faith in God. She's not having a problem hearing this. But the rest of you, uh, you must be blind and deaf. We ought to be celebrating with one another as to what the Father has shared with us. But I'll tell you what, you go running off to these, geez, Father, God, the in part ministry is about to come in. I just got done with a conversation, I don't know, Father God, with a brother who is so hung up. I, I explained to you about the bitter root that many of us, myself included, have allowed to spring up regarding them who are in these households of faith. And I shared with you that for, I don't know, about six months in the beginning of my coming back to the Father's house as that prodigal son, spiritually speaking. Amen. I just wrote and wrote and wrote. I called them everything under the sun. I had so much anger and, a, you know, I just could not get over how they had blasphemed. Because of them, the name of God has been being blasphemed, okay, by the Gentile, the unbeliever. Because of this, just as it was back when Jesus came, amen, Jesus, the Jewish people were doing the same thing that the Gentile church is doing now. Through them, God's name was being blasphemed by the unbeliever because of what they did and what they'd been doing. The same is true right here, right now. So I was so, uh, you know, beyond, uh, beyond myself, out of, you know, control in this rage. Brothers and sisters, he who is without sin be the first to cast the stone. We, by the blood of Jesus Christ, are required. We have a debt to love one another, to forgive our enemies, to pray for them. But we do not have the right to hate them or turn against them, we can turn away, but we cannot act upon that hatred. I don't care if it's in word or deed. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. And most importantly, God told us, don't touch them, because the wheat are still in among the households of faith, that by pulling them out, you may tear out the wheat, some wheat, along with them. Doesn't that make any spiritual sense to you? Especially to my sister Kathleen. Just doesn't seem to get the fact that there's a work and a will, a perfect work and a perfect will of the Father taking place. He's got this thing. He knows the order of the event and what's going to take place. We're supposed to simply come together in agreement, being led by the Spirit of God in one accord, laying down our lives to one another, period. We're supposed to do what we have this bitter root in us about them not doing.
or else you're going to end up being a hypocrite. Because you can't sit here and come against that house and not have, it's, it reminds me of the Republican Party. They come against the Democratic Party or against President Obama, amen Jesus, for programs he's attempted to make a change with, amen, but they themselves have no change. They have no alternative. They offer absolutely nothing. Well, that's exactly what you who come against these households of faith are doing. You run them down and tear them down, but you yourself do not have an alternative plan. Give me the alternative plan. This is the alternative plan. This is plan B. This is the one that God began in the beginning and shall finish. This is the work and the will of the Father. Either get in or get out. Be hot or be cold. But sitting there saying nothing is nothing but lukewarm, brother. And don't you think the Holy Spirit of God cannot testify and see what's taking place on these videos? Or that it won't make a difference. The speaker and the hearer are both judged, brother. He said, don't be a hearer, not a doer. So if you hear it, the truth, and you don't act upon it, you don't move upon it, then you're responsible. And who, guess what else? The blood of those who will not come in, who have not been given the opportunity to understand the truth that's being revealed to us this hour, their blood's going to be re held, you're going to be held responsible for it. Their blood upon your hands. Hands represent your ministry. The Holy Spirit. I don't want to spend a lot more time on this. I just want to help you to see it. I, I understood. I understand that. But I needed to get all that bitterness out of me regarding them. And let it go. And forgive them. That way God could use me with compassion upon the ignorance of my brothers. Because I tell you, Many of them in there, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus himself asked the Father that they be forgiven. If you do not have forgiveness in your heart for your enemy or for those who have despitefully used you or abused you or re and he said they rejected me they're going to do it to you if you have not accepted that and have found peace in God with that so that you have hatred towards your brother who's in ignorance in darkness? How can you claim the love of God? You'll find, brothers and sisters, that the issues of which are shared out here, I take issue with, I come against. The individual may have to be rebuked, exhorted, admonished, and I don't take that job lightly. I'll let you have it the way I believe by the Father's will. You're supposed to have a gift given to you. If you ain't been around for long, you're still a babe, well, it's just a little slap on the hand. And I might say a couple of things to try to jar you loose. Okay? But if you've been in the Word for a while, He's a strong meat to them who are perishing. Because you haven't died to yourself yet. And so the stronger the meat is that, you've got to be, that you're given the better the possibility of you being put to death by that meat. So I come right after you, brother, sisters. <clears throat> so, Lord be with you and bless you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen.